Quý khán giả hiện giờ mình đang xem là hàng đi vòng quanh à, và hiện giờ đây là một cái competition đang cái này là ngày cuối cùng của cái này là ngày cuối cùng của cái ISA là International Surfing uh, Competition và tí nữa mình có cơ hội mình tìm hiểu thêm về cái cái này là sao và hiện giờ mình thấy là hầu hết là gia đình ngồi đây coi hay là nhiều người coi và các cái nhiều người quay phim ok À, và mình thấy rất cái nhiều cờ của nhiều uh, uh, nước tại vì cái này là international này là quốc tế à, mình có như là uh, bên này là bên nhóm Peru Hi, I'm Sola Irre from Peru. Um, I just competed on the ISA World Surfing Games. Okay. And yeah, we're here supporting our last standing teammates, Luca and Daniela, right now. So, um, how do you do? <laughs> I didn't do well, but you know, that's how surfing works and I'll, I always give my best. It's tricky conditions, but I'm happy to be here to represent my country and support my teammates. Okay, so how does surfing work? Like, how does the competition work? So, like, how does it, how do they score? Okay. Yeah, like, and then you go out there, you have like 30 minutes, right? Yeah. Um, but what happens if there's no wave? Do you get penalized for that? Like, you yeah, can yeah. share some of those. So normally the heat is like 20 minutes, and there's four competitors. They have priority um, once they get to the lineup, and then when you have priority, you get to choose the wave you want. Doesn't matter who's who's like paddling, and they score you your best two waves. So the plan is always to. Uh, before the heat ends, it's to get your two good waves. And so, if you get two good scores, um, you just maybe be on first place or second, so the first and the second makes, uh, make it to the next round. That's so, how it works. So, uh, so you are surfing out there, the judge is judging, what are they looking for? Like what are some of the qualifications they have? Yeah, um, so the score is between from 1 to 10. So if you get a 10, it's like the best score wave. And yeah, normally they look for a commitment, which is like challenging and like if you hit it on the, on the tough part of the wave, normally it's like harder, so yeah, and then they also look for um, power and precision and like it's all combined it's like like a art you know like it, you also have to surf it nice and flow and yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, just kind of give the audience like a mindset of you out there right like you just by yourself like what, what's your thinking like what like, what, what are you looking for? Yeah. How do you know when that wave is the wave? Exactly. It's, surfing is very, um, it's not objective, it's like subjective. Like, even the judges, uh, they have to really think comparing the waves and everything. And I think it's a lot of intuition, like about the feeling you have when you're in the ocean, like what wave, it's that feeling, you know? Sometimes it's strategy, but it's not the same uh, watching it from the shore than watching it like being there. So the mindset, it's like, it changes because like we're different people and the competitors have different mindsets. They do what it's best for them, what works for them. And for me, it's like listening to good music, having a good warm up and then 
just yeah. doing my plan and trust. How do you prepare for this long competition? The <laughs> like from home to yeah, yeah. Here. So the preparation comes from like since I started, you know. So the first years when I was six years old was like free surfing, you know. Then when I started competing, I think that every single day you keep improving and gaining trust and working. And yeah, we've been training on Peru, and then we came here like one week before, so we get to know the waves, the beach. It's different in every country, you know. Maybe the next world, uh, world I say it's gonna be in, I don't know, Europe, France. There's a different power, different wave. So we have the coaches, we have the the. Tec no sé cómo se dice, technique, technique. Like, lo strategy. Yeah, everything. Um, last, last question is, do you have any word for all the young kids that are getting into this sport? Like, what would be an advice for them? I think, like, try and then get to know the sport and feel what you feel. It's like, there's no limits, there's no judge judgment and i feel like have fun and yeah just share the vibe yeah thank you <laughs>